Hello everyone! For this video, we'll be taking a look at the Rare Big Battle. But before we continue with this video, ah, subscribe if you are new here and comment your thoughts. Plus, mallbase.com. Did you know until the end of October, Beyblade Burst is 15% off discount automatically on checkout. And non-discount, we have the regular Beyblade deck stuff uh, ready for pre-orders. It is an optional way to support the channel. I appreciate any support regardless. So, how does one go to obtain rare bays? So you either buy it in the aftermarket, which is wasting a lot of money, or you basically get it uh, by winning the rare bay get battle. Now what this basically is, is you have to use the app and you basically have to do this whole kind of gotcha system where you basically have to wait for these animations to play and pray to God that you get really, really lucky. I unfortunately got lucky, which you'll probably see my reaction right about now. Oh my God, I did it. I got Cobalt Drake. I got it on the Rare Bay Gets Battle. Basically, here's how this works. If you get an extreme finish, you win a Cobalt Drake. If you get a burst finish, you win a Golden Hell Scythe. So, very happy I was able to actually get both of them. And, you know, it really means a lot to me personally that I was able to get it. So, yeah, very, very happy. And we'll be taking a look at probably both of these, I guess. I don't know. We'll, we'll go through it. Yeah, but in the meantime, while I'm basically opening all the stuff and getting them ready, I'll tell you a little bit of backstory. So, in the manga, the owner for this Beyblade is Chrome uh, Ryugo. And basically, he's part of Team Pendragon. He's like a little, a little important character in the story, and he's used Drake at least one time, so that's your promo for the Rare Bay, basically. This thing out right now for the app. Get it. Let's get it. Get it. Get it in my app. Yeah, baby, come on. Drake? Next up is the Golden Hell Scythe. Now, for the actual Hell Scythe itself, there is no really, like, backstory to this. This is just, like, a rare recolor, which is, like, whatever. It's gold, which, you know, honestly, gold recolors are kind of whatever for me just because of the fact that, you know, it's not like they, they got that much significance for me. Like, I think Burst has kind of tired me out on that gold. So now as I go over on the part by part, we have our Golden Blade, the nice looking Hell Scythe, which uh, looks mighty fine, looks mighty fine. You know, I like the red, the bit chip looks really nice, like the little sparkles there. It kind of just like typical whatever for like a rare bit, and obviously your main difference to the original is just the golden actual coating on there, and that's about it, and obviously the bit chip. So now we have 460, but there's two 460s for the rare bays. Oh, that's a little, nice little gold little spark. They just look nice. I like the sparkles on here. Obviously, the original one was just uh, like this little red whatever, but our last one is this uh, nice little taper, which I actually do like. They have the bits looking like this. We can actually kind of like see through them. I kind of wish it was the entire bit that could look like that, but probably it'll look weird because if you could see the rivet there, but I, I probably wouldn't even care to be honest. It just looks really nice. And these bits have high resistance because taper is a bit that has high resistance because this part is really, really thick. So that means when it's holding on to the ratchet, it's going to be a little bit of resistance there. So now if we have the weight, 32.78. Oh, wow, shit, that's like almost like, whoa, 33.36. Okay, so actually there's a little bit of a slight difference actually in the weight. That, that's, that's by a substantial ball amount. 6.3435 makes sense. Point like 0.21 or 2. Oh, okay. This actually weighs like a, a little bit more and obviously how you assemble is that you just twist it and then after you push this in. Now for our total weight, we have a total of about 41.96 grams versus in terms of visually, what are we saying? This looks beautiful, dude. Very, very nice. I don't think I'll probably ever battle with it just because it's just regular hell scythe. So it probably just goes for a collection, but pretty neat. Pretty neat. Look, look at that. Hey, look at look at it. Look at it. Yeah, very nice. Now we have Cobalt. I already know in like two or three battles, this sucker is going to die. Uh, but it does have a, a blue coat, a little bit of nice paint. What's very interesting is the actual blade design because to me, this is essentially just, if you look very carefully, a reverse of Hell Scythe because Hell Scythe has the blades kind of pointing this direction so when it's spinning you can kind of see like the bit the blades are kind of like curving up here it's kind of more similar to that idea of i guess like kind of, kind of like a mini drawn sword contact 
but does look really, really nice. Has a very good design. I love the molding detail for the faces. In fact, I do wish that X kind of had a little bit closer to essentially what we got with Drake. If I just compare it to like the drawn sword contact, you can kind of see a little bit difference in the thickness and the plastic is kind of a, a, a little bit weird kind of, I, I guess they kind of just move the plastic if you kind of compare, but you can either view this as reverse hill scythe or four bladed drawn sword. That's the best way you can probably put it. So moving on from there, we have 460, which this does look pretty nice, except for this one. This blue is kind of basic. It's just the same blue as like the regular 360, but the nice little red with the sparkles, that looks pretty nice. 460, I'm not, I'm not crazy on just because it's easier to burst than 360, but whatever. The flat bit is pretty solid bit uh, to use and super, super clean. Anyways, uh, let, let's do the reverse. 2.28, 6.27, and how much is it? Holy shit, 38.13 grams. That is such a big, like, difference, like, such a discrepancy between the blades. How much is the total for this stock? Like, 46.67, which, that is, like, a couple of grams difference from a lot of, like, uh, the stuff we currently have, like, Shark Edge is, what, 43, 41, look at this, 43, that's, like, three grams, like, three grams of, like, damn! That is a, that, uh, I don't want weight creeping in like that, because that's a little bit scary. Or, or maybe this is a troll by Takara, because it's the rare bait, so they gotta ensure that it's, like, it feels like the true rareness, the true potential, but, yeah, just looking at it, very, very nice, actually, look at this. Really, really looks cool. I just love how this looks, man. It reminds me of Galaxy Pegasus, that's what it reminds me of, because it's just the, the blue there. So for our first test launch, we have the Golden Hell Sight. Three, two, one, let it rip. Amazing, I already went out, nice. We'll try uh, just a little bit of a light one just so I can get that little, that little zoom in action. That way we can kind of see just up close when it's spinning. Very lean though, look at that. Look at that, very, very nice, look at that. Very nice. This is the gold one, has a nice little gray skull. I, I, I like it. So we're gonna do our test launch now for Drake. Drake! We do a test launch. Three, two, one. Now, because there's a little bit of a weight difference, you're already gonna notice that it's moving a little heavy, but, okay. I will be joined here by my mother who will be repping whoever I give. So you're going to have, throw, we'll start you off with the little wizard arrow. Yeah. Three, two, and two. Maybe I already lose. Maybe, maybe he's not that broken or something. I don't know. Okay. Try that again. Yeah. Three, two, and two. Very, very heavy lad. Very heavy lad. I'll, I'll say that much. I can't even tell right now because it's just a lot of weight. Wait, I might lose? Yes. No. Yeah. No. I, I, wow. This is it? Yes. Wait, oh, oh no. My God. Oh, okay, I was about to say. Okay, yeah. well, let's, let's try it again. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, and two. I'll say this much, that plastic, you know, that plastic already got like two stress marks. Wow. Yeah. Look, look at that. Takara told me, a little goofy there, huh? I, I did literally like three two and the shoot. All right, three two and the shoot. Okay, 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 okay. If I ever go up against this bay, I'm gonna start shitting bricks if I have to do, if I have to face this bay. This bay is hitting monstrously. Three two and the shoot. We're gonna, we're gonna see, we're gonna see right now, you know. You know, the first round was a little close. All right, now that's land. Three times. Three times. Okay, yeah. 
you can actually you can actually see like the fragments of this uh, paint being chipped away. Well, it's losing tonight, Lance. So I don't think we got to worry about the meta of Drake. Well, then again, if I get this on low flat, maybe it's scarier. All right. Well, Night Lance just obliterated it. Probably an attack versus attack. It's like there's no contest because if the weight's that much. Never, never mind. Okay, we'll try one more. One more with hell. One more with hell scythe. You can actually see the blood of this bay already coming off. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like stabbing a dragon. It slowly bleeds. Three, two, and shit. You got one outspin. I got one burst. <laughs> this thing just bullies. A little bit weird on the balance. A little bit weird on the balance. Three tones. <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Never that mind. Never was mind. An amazing one. Never mind. <laughs> no, it's in battle. They're fast based on each other. Oh my god! My child shark edge. My child. Oh. My child. Okay, we'll try that again. Sure. Shark edge is dying. Three tones. Okay. Three tones. <laughs> I like your cut, G. Okay, that's that's just that's that's at that point you, you, you come on. What happens? Three two. Okay, that was Okay, we'll try it again. Yeah, so it seems like the weights really is useful for it. Three two. Okay, that's 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 not that's a that's abuse. That's abuse. That's that's come on. Come on. Okay, you wanna know what? Because it counts as a main bait. We're gonna throw in Dronzer. We're gonna be throwing the So definitely not in. Oh. Look at the blood of this bait already. So that's why I got those shots before, because if I have to do more videos with it, I already know the paint's gonna be, it's gonna be a silver drape. But if you're an MFB fan, you already know the suffering. Shout out to my boy Galaxy Pegasus. Obviously, as I do more for fun battles, I'll eventually get that uh, answer and obviously competitive testing just to figure it out. But uh, this thing seemed like obviously the weight does matter, like to, to some extent, obviously the weight and the weight distribution. But I'm just, I'm just thinking in terms of how it's performing right now, you know, it, it seems pretty beatable, but I'm wondering with like low flat, all that stuff. So yeah, I think other than like the paint kind of bleeding off this Beyblade, eventually after when we do a lot of these like competitive testing stuff, whatever to see, we'll see what happens. I mean, from the stock alone, uh, it seems like it's, I don't know, beatable. It's definitely because it's like, it's heavy. So like it's taking a little bit more to move, but if you get this on probably like low flats, uh, we'll see then. There are definitely times when I can think, I don't know if the weight's like too much of an issue. And other times where I think it's a little bit disgusting how bully some bays, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. This thing definitely is, uh, I would say like a decent shape anyways. I mean, even though this is stock X battle, it's still doing pretty good overall, I would think. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Stay tuned for more battles, testings, whatever. What do you think of Drake and the Golden Hell size? Thank you for watching, mobase.com. Check it out and subscribe and comment. Bye.